Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm not sure if you're following me on Periscope. I have been on Periscope for some months now. And I did a live Periscope during the month of November sharing my behind the scenes for our family Christmas card photo shoot. My husband is a photographer. Feel free to reach out to him if you have any photography needs. And he does our photo shoot in our living room and we've done this the last two years. So last year and this year since we moved into our house. So we put up our Christmas tree really early, early November, like the first week. You know, I know it's super early before Thanksgiving, but the reason for that is because we want to make sure that we get the photo shoot done sometime before Thanksgiving so that we can uh, get the photos edited. He can, has time to edit them and then I can select my favorite go into the online Christmas card websites, choose which one I like, make a whole bunch of different options, then we deduce them down to the number one, order the copies of the holiday cards, get them, and then we have to ship them out to family and then we want them to get them before Christmas. So if we wait until the beginning of December to do all this, it just is going to end up being so late that they either won't get it on time or it's gonna put a lot of pressure and stress on us to do this and it's not gonna make it fun. So that's why we do it early. With that being said, that Periscope is still available on Catch where you can see it. So I'll put the link if you wanna see the behind the scenes. I take you in the dressing room where I'm getting the kids ready. I bring you down into the living room so you can see where we're going to be doing the whole photo shoot. I come back in my office. I share what holiday card we made last year and then we go through like the brochure of like ideas of what I'm thinking. With that being said, the holiday cards are here. So I want to show you which card we chose. And I am literally cracking, op cracking open the uh, paper plastic as we speak. We went with um, Tiny Prince. And we went with Tiny Prince last year as well. And I loved the quality of the card that they made. And um, it was just beautiful. I just loved it. I also love the options that they give. They give so many options. And Tiny Prince also has a coupon. So you get 30% off. They I actually did it on Black Friday. So I got 40% off. And the brochure that they sent, the brochure that they send is top notch. It is so classy. It has so much beautiful pictures and uh, this is the second brochure but the first brochure actually had like a cop an actual card so you could feel it and touch it and get an idea of what it would be like so this is our holiday card and we went with the merry christmas card here and it says the stewards and it has all of our names joel janelle joel jr and L. And then in the center is our family picture. So this is our Christmas card and it's a hard card with a matte finish. This is foil stamped so this is a beautiful detail. You can see the glow from the light on it so you can see that it is stands out and it gives it a great pop. And um, the back is so cute. It has snowflakes on it so we bought I want to say 50 no we bought 40 and um, if I'm not mistaken the price for 40 of them was a little under a hundred dollars um, so and that was with the 40% discount and, and also like the free shipping. So um, I want to just, you know, I guess I'll just talk about the price up front because I, I, it's, it's expensive. You know, it's you can go and get a Christmas card and, and sign it and, you know, put a photo in it with you and your family. And it would have cost you a lot less than that because you could have bought a box of cards for with like 20 cards for maybe like $10. And then you can, of course, get prints for like a couple of cents if you go to some of these online sites and some online sites even give you prints for free like up to a year like a thousand prints um you can obviously do a holiday card on a budget if you can't afford to do something like this but this is a memento i just want to you to be in that mind frame that this is not something that we send to our family members and they like throw it away i'm the type of family member 
if you send me your card, you know, if you send your card to Auntie Janelle and it's just a regular Christmas card, I do throw them away. I'm sorry. I can't keep a box of cards for my entire life. It's just, it's just not me. I don't like knickknacks. I don't like little, you know, um, souvenirs and things like that. I throw all those things away. I'm so sorry. And I know people spend money on those things, but I just don't care for them. Um, something like this, I feel like you don't want to throw away because it's just such a good quality and it's a picture. So it's like you don't throw pictures away. You put pictures in the photo album. Yes, people still put photo albums up. I do. I print out my camera phone pictures all the time and put them in a photo album. Um, also, you can, put, you can put this in a frame. You can get a 4 by 6 frame and put this in a nice frame and put this up on your wall, in your shelf, on your entertainment center, or, you know, wherever you may put your, your, your picture frames. You can put this there, and then you have a picture of our family. So... It is, it is an investment. It's also an investment of time because if your husband is not a photographer like mine, you will have to take the photos on your own. Uh, we did the photo right in our living room and that is our Christmas tree. You can see we're sitting on um, our chairs in our living room and we just got all dressed up and did our makeup just to take this photo so that we can send it to our families. So it is definitely an, an investment in your time because you have to you have to have a photo shoot. Um, you could of course just take a photo with your photo camera. I mean my my iPhone 6 plus has such an amazing camera that when I print out those pictures, they look amazing. So if you don't have like a you know a whole setup of photo for a photo shoot, just make sure the lighting is good and take the picture and you can do this type of thing on a budget. And maybe the first year you don't buy 40. The first year we didn't buy 40. We only bought 25. We decided to increase the number because, um, you know, the kids have a lot more people in their lives now that they're a little bit older. They're godparents. They have friends now. They have doctors now. And, you know, um, as we get, as we as we become more acquainted with people in our new environment because we no longer live in Brooklyn, we live in Long Island, we now have friends that we're getting to know. So 25 just didn't feel like enough last year, but we made it work um, because of the price. So we prepared for this and we anticipated to do this. Um, I really encourage you to do a holiday family photo shoot. If it's too late for this year, it might be too late, depending on when this video is up. Um, it might be too late for you. However, I just got these in and I went on vacation and I just got back and I was like, you know, I really want to talk about this. I promised I would do this on Periscope. So, um... If you can't do it this year, make sure you start planning for next year. And you don't have to have a Christmas tree in the background. So honestly, if you have any family photo that you've ever taken that you guys love and would want to put on a card, something that's a keepsake like this that you know people will most likely put up somewhere, you can always insert that picture. And then you don't even have to worry about the fact that it's almost Christmas. You can do that like right now. Um, and, 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 and of course, get use the coupon the codes are on the website and then you can have one but this is something we will never forget this is last year's card just quickly before i go this is last year's card it says be merry and it says warmest wishes warmest holiday wishes from the stewart family and once again it has all of our names and you can see little l my ladybug she's so small here um jj still looks like a little boy and now when you and this was also last year um, right before Christmas. You can see I still have a little bit of my baby weight. I was, you know, what, six months then? And then then you see this year. How much have we changed in a year? Like, look how big my babies are. And, and if you have these and you keep one for yourself, um, you can always go back and order more, even when it's not the holidays. So you can always order more. You can get them enlarged. You can turn them into a photo. Um, but just imagine every year, if we do this for the next 20 years, 30 years, how cute this will be to see the progression just for our own selves. Um, you know, I think it's just sweet. I encourage you to do it however you can do it. Make it affordable for your budget. Don't feel like you need to do it the way that I did it. But um, we planned for this because I just really enjoyed doing it last year. And our family, when we go visit them and we see this card, it's just so adorable, you know, um, especially for relatives that we don't see often. So yeah, make you a holiday card.
you have any, you know, family traditions. If it's not the holiday card, like what is it? What are your family traditions? And if you currently don't have children, um, what are some traditions you would want to do when you do have children? Um, this is one that I, I never considered I would do. Um, I never thought about it. But then once I had children, I was like, we have to do a holiday card. So yeah. Um, yeah, definitely follow me all across social media so that you know what's going on in my life. I really do appreciate you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye. So this holiday season, I only want one gift. I could care less if I get anything else. In this I don't think I'm going to be fulfilled and my spirit won't rest until I get this gift.